What is going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Today we are going to be finishing up our money printer entity and to do this we are going to be needing our concommands.lua file as well as our printer entity's client side init file. So go ahead get those open and let's begin. So we are going to be starting with our seal underscore init file for our printer since we have to make a very very small change and that change is right at the bottom in this line here. So instead of using key down, we want to change this to key pressed. Now the reason we don't want to use key down here is because that's going to constantly be called as long as the use key is down. And that is no good. So it'd be much better to check it only when the user presses the key or when they push it down and let go of it. And this way it'll make it so we only upgrade the printer once per click instead of constantly upgrading it as long as we have that use key down. So once that is done, go ahead and save it and let's navigate on over to our concommands.lua file. Now in our concommands file, we want to go ahead and change our upgrade print amount function. So let's go ahead, scroll down to that and let's go ahead and create ourselves some variables. The first variable will be local entity, and we're going to set this equal to entity args1. Our second variable, local print amount, this is just going to grab the entity's current print amount, so get print amount. Then local upgrade cost, and we're going to set this to something really simple. If you want to make this more complex, please feel free to do that, but just for the sake of simplicity, we are going to set this to print amount times two. Then we just want to grab the player's balance by doing PLY, which is just the argument being passed into the function, colon get nwint player money. Now when we have those done, we can go ahead and get rid of this code here because that is no longer needed. And what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and create ourselves an if statement that's going to check whether or not the player has enough money to upgrade the entity. And if they do have enough up, if they do have enough money to upgrade the entity, then we can go ahead and deduct money from their balance, in this case the upgrade cost, and then actually increase the print amount by some value. So let's go ahead and create ourselves that if statement. So if player bal is greater than or equal to the upgrade cost then, and then end that off. Now in here we want to go ahead and deduct the cost of this upgrade from the player's balance. So we do this by doing player colon get nwint, or sorry, set nwint, the player money network int. We're just going to set this to the player's current balance minus the upgrade cost. And then after that, we can go and increase the entity's print amount. So entity colon set print amount equal to the current print amount. And we're just going to make this simple and add 20 to it. So let's go ahead and save that. And now that all that is done, we can go ahead, head into game and test all this out. Now, once we're in game, we can go about spawning ourselves in a printer. And as you can see, it is currently only printing at the default rate of 20 every second. And assuming we have enough money and we go about upgrading it, it'll go from 20 to 40, and then 40 to 60, and so forth until we no longer have enough money. Now, currently the way it's set up, you can keep on upgrading it because there is no limit. And I'm not going to go over setting up a limit. I'm going to leave that up to you guys as a challenge. But right here, we now have a fully functioning money printer with fully functioning upgrades. So I'm going to conclude this episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.